Hello everyone and thank you for coming back on your Sunday to another absurd or video I'm putting out. Here is Mr. Jeffrey Preston Bezel and his wife. Okay. This is Jeffrey Preston Bezos and his girlfriend. Yes, the pair are not married anymore. And he is serenading and swinging with his girlfriend on his beautiful yacht called the Flying Fox. This is a new super uh, yacht he's working on that's supposed to be somewhere in the range of five million or uh, five hundred million, I should say. But let's give you a little background history on Mr. Uh, Bezos, okay? He's 57 years old. He was born in Albuquerque, New Mexico. He is a American entrepreneur, a media proprietor, an investor. He's a computer engineer, and he once was the CEO of Amazon. Yes, Amazon. Big giant Amazon, where we go uh, and buy anything as far as the on the e-commerce circle from electronics to clothes to anything that they sell okay and it may not be all what we think i'm just throwing my hints out there those who can hear here those who cannot okay catch up but he resigned from that position and made himself appointed i'm sure founder and executive chairman of amazon he has four children and from what Forbes.com reports as his wealth, how he hits around $200.9 billion. Well, that's a lot. That's a lot right there. And, of course, you're seeing Mrs. and Mr. Jay-Z. Okay? And I'm like, for the life of me, I can't understand for two individuals as... Um, been so profound in the music industry and very lucrative on many financial ventures why don't they own their own yacht why rent something that they should be able to buy with ease i mean both of them are billionaires or billionaires together i'm just saying nothing uh think about what i'm saying i'm not jealous or anything of that i'm just putting it out there if you have amassed so much fortune that Beyonce and Jay-Z say they have. Why are you renting from a man who definitely owns this? So your dollars are not matching his dollars? Or your wealth is not matching his wealth? Just give one to ponder about, okay? Now, these are just interior shots of the yacht that Beyonce and her family and Jay-Z are on right about now, touring the seas. I don't know where they're going. I'm sure it's somewhere in Italy. But just look at this. And it just mind boggles me how the, uh, what do you call it, the interior has so much Egyptian type of feel or decor to it. I mean, look at the furniture real closely. You're going to see a lot of diamonds and pyramids and shaped you know, uh, situations such as that. I mean, that's a part of the yacht. I think that middle part is water or a pool or something. But yes, this brother is packing on the weight when it comes to the income. Okay, he's packing on the weight. And actually have a telepad or a helipad, I should say, that can house a airplane. Okay, an airplane. I'm like, look at that man, look at that man, look at that man. Kind of should make Jay-Z feel some kind of way. Because if you're on a, another man's property and you're renting it, well, how does that make Jay-Z feel? Lesser than a man? Half of a man? I don't know. But I'll be looking at him like, this man got all this, you got all that, and we ain't got all this. That's just me. Beyonce probably don't be saying it. She probably be thinking it, but won't never say it, okay? But yes, this man. They're on Mr. Jeff Bezos. Preston at that. I about to call him Preston, because I don't like Jeffrey. The name Jeffrey. Doesn't ring. Preston Bezos. Yes, that's what it sounds. A little bit more crisp uh, for the air and the feel of me just saying it, rolling off my tongue. Okay, Preston, Preston, Preston. Just so high class, too. So, you know, elite. 
But yes, that is the new toy he's building. But they're on the Flying Fox, both Jay Z and Beyonce, uh, vacationing with their, uh, I guess their parents. My Matthew No might not be there. Jay Z mom might not be there. But I'm sure Tina there. She there. She there with her husband somewhere, enjoying all the luxuries. <laughs> But I was like, dang, that must be that Tiffany stone that they were talking about Beyonce was wearing and people were giving her a lot of flack about. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, but anyway, she enjoyed herself. She enjoyed herself on her yacht. Yes. On behalf of that man allowing them to rent it from him. Can you say it again? Allowing him to, meaning Jay-Z, rent his stuff okay he gotta he jc gotta feel some kind of way he gotta feel some kind of way but look at that hair on his head oh, i mean can we get some locks going can we get some dreads going it's just a hot mess up there on that head oh but anyway that's just his style you want to get down like that so be it and um yeah that's what we got going on family time and he must be some kind of buddhist or something or he a um, namaste he's some kind of eastern um philosophy type of man holding his hands like that i know i'm like cat weird like what the hell what the hell going on here why are they on that boat with that man because i'm gonna tell you who that man is friends with and then you might have to ponder and get into that look like cat Williams. like why why are we here what we doing we don't we don't roll like that but he is friends with a Lloyd Blankenfin, Oprah, Oprah Winfrey, Jeffrey, Epstein, Bill Gates, David Giffen, okay, and Barry Diller. If you don't know any of those people, please look them up. Some of them had hit the airwaves and it wasn't in a very nice way. But these are the people that he associates himself with. Okay, I'm just saying. I am just saying. So what in the world would Beyonce, and he has other friends, of course, like Mark Zuckerberg, meaning Mr. Bezos, the yacht owner, uh, Warren Buffett, and Carlos Slim, okay? Yes. Yeah. So again, look up those people I named and you might find some interesting undercover stories that you might want to ponder about and see how all these people connect together. You know, what kind of ring of a circus are they in? But I'm just saying, I am just saying. But we have a story that was put out that, you know, none other than, you know, most people who love Jay-Z and Beyonce, um, they were renting this man's yacht, okay? Yes, this was on autoevolution.com. If you're not uh, familiar with who they are, just go over there and ponder and get yourself refreshed or get give yourself a lesson in autoevolution.com their new blogging site trying to keep up with the rich and famous see how the other half live and get down okay but anyway um elena gorgon had put this story out and she titled it beyonce and jay-z are vacationing on jeff bezos bezos mega yacht the flying fox okay and this put out in september september the 12th my brother's birthday uh which is today okay happy birthday stan happy birthday boy but anyway, like most families, we're going to go on into the story now. In the world, every year, Beyonce and Jay-Z go on a vacation with their closest family members and friends. Unlike most people, because they're so unbelievably rich and famous, they usually do it on a board of a luxury super yacht that costs millions to rent on a weekly basis. And I'm like, God, dog, is this man paid he probably paid five million for the boat himself. Now, if they gonna pay that on a week basis, and depending on how long they stay gone, why don't they buy their own boat? My suggestion only, you know, just my mind tinkering up there. And I said, well, then again, maybe they don't like that water like that, cause most Caucasian people they love this water. They love to be by it. They love to be in it, and they just love to be drenched with the sun. So I'm just going to give Beyonce and uh, Jay-Z a pass that they like land more than they like water. And that they could possibly buy this yacht 
and probably the, the baby sister. Okay, the baby sister, yeah. So just keeping it 100. But going back to the article, that was just my rant, not in this latest article. Uh, she goes on to say this year is the Flying Fox, the 400 million dollar mega yacht delivered in 2019 to jeff bezos the aspiring astronaut slash space cowboy and amazon's boss that's also the one of the world's well he's also one of the world's richest man the bezos commission the mega yacht was never officially confirmed but sources in the industry claim that he is the owner Regardless, fellow celebrities and public figures can charter it when it's not used by its owner. Okay, and the price tag is four million a week. Four million a week. And I'm like, Beyonce and JC, are y'all crazy? Yeah, Beyonce and JC spending your money, girl. Four million dollars a week chartering this man's coaching yacht. Shit, y'all got four million. Y'all just wait. Okay, for a couple of months and buy your own yacht. But that's just me. That's just me. Because, you know, I'm like, Beyonce, do you have your own private plane, train? Okay, I know you got the automobiles, but we need the planes and the trains now, okay? Planes, trains, and the yachts, all right? Then you can solidify yourself where you can say, hey, take me out into the sea. Fix them coordinates. This is where I want to be, okay? Instead of making arrangements, through other third parties to try to rent somebody else's stuff but that's just my mind frame going back to the latest article it says the daily mail has photos of beyonce and jay-z on board the flying fox off the coast of panza in italy the header photo is supposedly of them heading to dry land and a tender for a romantic dinner now that they would need a restaurant to enjoy themselves meaning not that they would need one the flying fox isn't just the biggest charter mega yacht in the world and the 19th overall by interior volume it is literally a floating resort okay a floating resort across six decks it offers accommodations for 22 to 25 guests and 55 crew to cater to every whim and fancy and the kind of luxury amenities regular folks can only dream of okay them regular folks they talk about me they talk about me i got to live vicariously through them because i ain't got them coins and then if i did have the coins i don't know if i want to stay on anybody's boat for no week's time i'm like a three-day person trying to still get somewhere around this covid and maybe think to take a three-day tour somewhere but no nah, i can't stay on nobody boat no whoa one month one year you know i'm just not that like that water life okay I, it never ends when you get on the sea that's all thing you see it's just water 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 i'm like i can't i can't drink about that water so i might well leave it alone so i live vicariously through these other people all right okay and what they want to show us of their goings and comments on their vacationing uh dx okay but going back that's just my little pun intended she says as we discussed in a separate conserve cover story the highlights are the two deck wellness center with a cryo cryo sauna and cryotherapy center two shelf kitchens one indoors and one out on the deck the cinema with motion and vibration tech the nightclub two helipads fire pits and the giant pool Carvinous garage houses a variety of water toys from the inflatable watercraft and tenders to diving gear. Okay, mm. everything is set for the water and any exploration you want to do in the sea. Yes, that's what they're saying. This is the place to be. Now, that was just my pun intended, not in this latest article. Okay, but going back to the article itself, built by Le, built by Le Rizon, uh Lyrison on exterior design by Epson. And interiors by Mark Berriman, the Flying Fox reportedly cost $400 million and was created to combine all the great things its owner had seen and experienced on other yachts into just one vessel. The Flying Fox is powered by two M2, women, MTU-16 V1-1163 well, M84 diesel engines that takes it to top speeds of 20 knots and a cruising speed of 15 knots. Okay, now that's what I'm talking about. JC and Beyonce or Beyonce more so said, if I can't buy it, I'm just, I'm going to rent it. If I can't buy it and enjoy it, God damn it, I'm going to rent it. Okay, and I'm going to be cool for two weeks. Cause $4 million a week. 
who got, girl that eight million that's a very expensive expensive vacation okay but y'all give it up for those two doing their darn thing sitting up here and renting off somebody's yacht that they should be having their own yacht but that's just my pun intended you know beautiful couple beautiful couple love that yellow canary type Ooh, that that's speaking money right there but anyway she enjoying her life as she should she worked hard and she must play harder okay and that jay-z I, I don't know i don't know i don't know y'all know i'm not on you know i don't know i'm not a fan of jay-z because anybody that be cheating on their wife that's working as hard as she do be working her butt out yeah, that's no reason that's just no reason they still say he cheating out there on the streets i can't confirm nor deny but i'm just saying all right but y'all come on back to another story presented by me none other than deb chanel okay on deb chanel's 40 world please share this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and i will see y'all in next video bye bye